we welcome you to the Crypto.com Arena here in Los Angeles, California, as Premier Boxing Champions presents the prelude to our big night of action coming your way live on FS1 and brought to you by TGB Promotions. At this time, we introduce our judges scoring this attraction from ringside. We have Esther Lopez, Raymond Perez, and Patrick Russell. All right, fans, here we go. Super bantamweights in the ring. We're scheduled 10 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first, on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with white and gold trim, fighting out of Miami, Florida, by way of General Santos City, Cotabato del Sur in the Philippines. He weighed in at 121 and three quarter pounds with a fine record of 26 wins, one loss. He has 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Magic Mike Plania. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the blue corner in this 10 round attraction, wearing black trunks with gold trim. He is fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Muskegon, Michigan. He weighed in at 121 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 19 wins, no losses, 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the undefeated rising super bantamweight star introducing Rais, the Beast Alim. <laughs> referee in charge. Now to give instructions, we have Ray Corona. La piece, la piece. This is good right here. This is good right here. Anything below is low. Touch gloves if you want. God bless. Aline and Plania. As we take a look at our tale of tape, Aline, 32 years of age, Plania, 25. Aline knows that he needs to continue to keep his undefeated streak alive if he wants a shot at a world champion, whether it is Stephen Fulton or Akhmadilia. And here we go. This is round one of 10. Aleem in the black and gold. And Plania in the black, white and gold. Left hook quickly by Aleem. He is very explosive. He is one of those guys that can knock you out at a moment's notice. Good jab, Plania took a left hook, but Aleem, quick reflexes. Good jab from Aleem. Plania trying to go to the body. Plania defeated Joshua Greer via majority decision. That was kind of, that was the win that really kind of opened got people's eyes. It put him on the map in the 122 pound division where that fight ended up ranking Plania. As for Aleem, he ranks number six by the WBO. Coming off a win over Eduardo Baez in November. He was supposed to fight in June on the Jamal Charlo card, but Charlo came up with a back injury, so they had to postpone this fight on the card. Aleem. Bouncing back and forth. He's got explosive hands. Another quick left hook. He is looking to make a statement here. As for Aleem and his career, you know, 19 0, 12 wins by knockout. He's been undefeated. The win over Vic Pisias in 2021 really put him on the map, devastating knockout win. And he was uh, underdog in that one, and he ended up upsetting Pasillas. And it has been smooth sailing for Aleem. And right now, the only goal for him is to become a world champion. And he wants to be able to make that happen. Lania with a good overhand right on the chin of Aleem. This is a great contender bout between both of these men. Another left hook from Aleem. Twenty-eight 
20 seconds remain here in the opening round. It's good to be with you all here. Wherever you're watching this around the world on from LA, California. That's the end of round number one. Not much of a feel out round. Both guys really letting their hands go. They're also being cautious at the same time. Big and fat with everything. And the last thing, lower your punch level. You punch it too high. You miss three opportunities to have been asleep. Lower that punch level. Cheeks and lower. Stop aiming for the head. Cheeks and lower. Defense was good. Stop stepping back. Use your elbows to block anything on the body. Don't reach John Perry for body shots. Everything else is good. Straight down the middle. Straight to the hooks all the time. He, all he's doing is loading up. That's all he's doing is loading up. And keep that left hand up. He's trying, he trying to sneak that overhand right. Yeah, that's way. No, it's way. They contra attack it. Two, three. No one. Good point. Pump. Intelligent. Intelligent. No, no. Pump. Okay? Come on. Round number two, Miguel Flores here on the call with you tonight. Aline and Plania once again. Aline with a nice little jump jab. And referee Ray Corona said he touched the mat, therefore ruling it a knockdown. And as Plania was trying to keep his balance, that was a close call. And that could be huge in a fight that many expect to be extremely close. But Aleem, he certainly has that power, even though Plania wasn't hurt. I believe he was certainly surprised by the power of Aleem. Who knows, that knockdown ruled in the favor of the lean could be huge. The lean, once again, all over Plania right now. Starting to cut off the ring. Another big left hook, and now Aline rocked from a left hook. Plania with a massive overhand right. And now Aline tied up and was able to fight his way out of it. Both guys now looking for the knockout. Absolutely throwing. Shots to the body by Aleem and then another left hook. Aleem backing away. Back to the jab, another left hook that caught Plania coming in. He took it and continues to come forward. And another left hook. Uh, that was a leaping left hook again. That was the one that really surprised and startled Plania earlier on that ended up in a knockdown. Both men throwing at will. Another huge left hook. Shots to the body by Aline now. That left hook can be devastating, and Plani is not doing a good job at really deflecting and trying to maneuver to avoid that left hook of Aleem. Now Plani are going to the body. Another body shot by Aleem, countered. Try to come upstairs. Aleem, final 10. As round two comes to a close. You need to lift that left hand up. You keep that right hand. You got to keep that left hand up. And if you're not going to get under it, catch it, okay? Keep the straight going. Get to him with your jab. Get to him with your jab. Stop trying to step to the hooks. You understand what I'm saying? In the blocking. Stop parrying the blocking. I mean, stop parrying the Here's a look at the knockout. It was uh, leaping straight left, and that really 
knock and surprise Bonnie. Now, did he touch the mat? Now, he didn't touch the mat, but he was falling into the ropes, and the ropes held him up by the boxing rules. If the ropes help you up from avoiding a knockdown in any way, the referee can rule it a knockdown if the ropes hold, held you up, and that may have been what Ray Corona saw. Even though he may not have touched the mat with his glove, the ropes, if they were not there, Plania probably would have fallen to the mat. Therefore, Corona saw in his case that that is ruled enough. He saw enough that that was going to be a knockdown, therefore giving that to Aleem. So I definitely don't fault Corona for ruling that a knockdown after looking at it a second time, seeing that the ropes did hold up, hold up Plania. So I believe that was a good call by referee Ray Corona. It was a tremendous eye by him to be on top of that. That's the type of power, explosive power, that can come out of nowhere by Aleem. But again, Plania also has power himself. He knocked Aleem later on in that round. He's gonna try to make up those points back. Aleem with an overhand right, partially blocked. Backing Plania up. Aleem back to the body. Plania waiting for his moment. And there's another overhand right that Aleem just starts in. Aleem does such a good job at darting in and getting right back out of harm's way. It's the quickness that he has along with the explosive power and it makes it extremely tough for Plania when Lean comes in that way. Left hook connected for Aline. Followed up with the jab. There's another straight left by Aline, knocking Plania back. Those are the type of shots that are gonna score in the judges' eyes. And another uppercut back to the body. Aleem just unloading on Plania. My goodness. That was six or seven continuous shots uncontested by Aleem. Aleem's really working into that body of Plania. Plania is really going to have to step his game up in the final 40 seconds here of this round if he's going to salvage it. But Aleem dominating in this one. Round number three. Another left hook followed by a right hook. Knocking Plania back. And Aleem continues. He's just remaining active. He is not taking too long to connect on Plania. You're gonna stop at the bell, gentlemen. Now Aleem backs away. Final ten. Straight right through the defense of Plania as the bell rings for round three. Round four here. Aleem scored a knockdown in round two. And in round three, really took the fight to Plania. Plania didn't have many answers. Total punches landed through three rounds. Aleem 43, Plania 17. Another huge right hand that startled Plania. Looking for the jab. Now straight right. Snapping the head back of Plania. Other than the one shot that Plania had on Aleem, and Aleem again just relentless pursuit of Plania. Plania has not had many answers. 
And other than the shot that buckled the knees of Aline, he really hasn't had much success throughout this fight. The left hook just misses. Ponyo was able to back away. That's a huge left hook connected on the side of the head. I will say Plania has taken a couple of clean shots by Aline. He has got some chin on him. An overhand right connected by Plania. Aline continues to dance, looking for his openings. Avoiding the overhand right, Plania, you know he wants to connect with that. This hasn't been successful so far. Now there is a double jab, both guys connected on each other. Nearly at identical times. Shot to the body, followed up by Aline. Another body shot connected for Aline. And he's really done a nice job at just mixing up his shots, using the jab beautifully, and then coming down low to the body. Really giving Plania a lot to think about when Aline comes in. That's what makes Aline so good. He's not just focused in one area. He can mix it up. There's an overhand right by Aline. Plania tied him up. There's a quick jab that Aline snapped before the end of the round. Hey, very good work. Only thing I need is you stop doing, stop pulling if you're not going to come back with the straight right. Roll. You worked on it all camp. Roll. Roll and step out. Roll and dip, okay? Stop pulling back unless you come with the straight right. Now, you're getting tired. Get closer. Get closer. Monster. Monster. Get under. there. Work the face. He's he nervous. He's nervous. He's he real jittery. Work the face. Give him the react counter. Straight to go. Straight to go. Beat him. He's too wide. And finish those uppercuts. I mean, finish those uppercuts all day. Cause he cold up. Look like we practice. He cold up like this. Give him some up the middle. Remember. All right. Here is Joey Spencer. His fight with Kevin Salgado coming up. Ten rounds in the super welterweight division. Spencer undefeated. He has been. One of the top prospects for premier boxing champions. And he is looking for that next challenge, and Salgado should get that to him. That's coming up. But first, Aleem and Plania as we enter the fifth round. And there you see Aleem right away. He is establishing the pace. As soon as the, the round starts, he is not giving plenty of room to breathe. He's always trying to be first. Another uppercut, followed by an overhand right that was blocked by Plania. Takes a left hand from Aline. Now back to the body, and then right away, Aline. Just when Plania thought there was an opening, Aline comes right with a straight jab. Aline is staying busy, using his jab, going to the body. Body followed by a left hook to the head. Aline trying to stay busy. 
huge uppercut just missed. Lean back to the body. And there's a little bit of a stumble by Plania as he was trying to counter with a jab of his own. Left hook delivered yet again by Aleem. This has been his favorite punch of the fight. Now into the body, and Aleem, again, just like an explosion, bursting with three, four punch combination, and then gets right out of harm's way. There's an uppercut just missed as Mania tried to counter with the left hook, but Aleem got out of the way just in the nick of time. Mania with the jab. Another, another shot to the body. Aleem has really done some good body work on Plania. Triple jab unanswered by Aleem. Plania yet again coming up short in that fifth round. Corner, Round six, second half of the fight underway. Another overhand right, with, followed up with a double jab. By Aline. Another left hook. Left hook has been, again, just a consistent punch for Aline since the opening bell. 67 punches landed for Aline. He looks for the opening and then explodes. Lania just hasn't had much success offensively for Aline. Just seems to be a step ahead at every turn. Lania now trying to there, guys. rough up, Aline up a bit, get him along the ropes unsuccessfully. Aline spins out of it and again answers with the five punch combination. But answered it with the jab. Right, and then a left hook just missed. Fania into the body no, just no, 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 as Malim was just about to unload, but stopped himself due to the instructions of referee Ray Corona. And now another body shot by Aline. He's just consistently busy, and even with some of his punches getting partially blocked, it adds up. He is being the more aggressive fighter. He is connecting at a higher clip. And he is just consistently giving plenty of things to think about. And like I said, he is really driving this fight. He is pushing the pace. And this is exactly how Aline operates. This is what he looks to do to his opponents. And so far, so good for Aleem. Another body shot, and Aleem just unloads. And again, and on all of those punches were unanswered. No counter from Plania. Overhand right, final 10 seconds by Aleem. Round seven for Aleem and Plania. Aleem has really grabbed control of this fight. Miguel Flores here on the call with you for what will be an eventful night here in Los Angeles, California from Crypto.com Arena. 
Liam, 82 punches landed through to just 36 by Plania through round six. And it is not surprising, another left hook on the chin of Plania. Now Liam, again, getting whatever he wants. A right hand that backed him up though, as Plania was able to counter with the lean coming in. Aline just snaps that jab. That jab is so quick by Aline. And Plania just never sees it coming. Even those soft feeler jabs by Aline going really well. Plania connected on a jab of his own there. Body shot from Aleem, but a good counter by Plania with the left hook on the chin of Aleem. And now Aleem with an uppercut followed by a straight right that backs Plania up. with the left hook, followed by the jab, again. And you wonder if j just Aleem is slowly taking the fight out of Plania. He seemed very aggressive in the first couple of rounds, and that has slowly faded as this fight has gone on, while Aleem appears to be getting stronger as the fight goes on. Another uppercut from Aleem. And again, just a triple jab, giving no time for Plania to relax. Another body shot from Aline. Gonna stop with the bell, gentlemen. Connected on a jab. Final 10 of round seven. Hey, good work. You can still popping up, bro. Don't let the fatigue set in. Stay strong. Stay low. Stay small. Only three rounds, man. Three rounds. Three rounds. with another starting on the round off. Every round, he's starting it off with the jab. Records past the seventh round. Aleem is undefeated at 4-0 with two wins by knockout. Plania, 8-1. Aleem always looking to establish the pace. Plania has been stuck playing catch-up ever since. And Aleem slowly just picking Plania apart. Another huge shots to the body from Aleem. There you see, once again, Plania bursting onto the scene. Left hook connected from Aleem. Back to the body. snaps the jab. Round eight. This fight. As Aline went to the body and then went right back upstairs with an overhand right on the chin of Plania. A super bantamweight division is loaded. These are definitely two names in that mix of contenders. And the winner certainly will move one step closer to a title opportunity. And so far, Aleem is answering the call. He 
has just consistently been too good for Plania thus far. Now Plania did rock Aline earlier in the fight. It seems to be his only saving grace and he's going to need to bring something similar back if he wants to steal this away from Aline. Overhand right from Plania. Back to the body is Aline. A quick counter. Brought it up with a one-two by Aline. And again, Aline, Plania just doesn't know where these shots are coming from. He doesn't know if they're going to the body or going upstairs. It seems to be that Aline has Plania guessing. There's Liam again, just not allowing Plania a break. Overhand right by Aleem. Double jab connected for Aleem again. We say this every round, Aleem right away opens up with the combination. Another big body shot by Aleem. Left hook, once again, Plania guessing. The offense has slowly waned off for Plania. Well, that was a nice little change up. Even though he didn't connect, I haven't seen much of that, especially in the second half of this fight. Left hook as Aline with the right hand backs Plania away. He's being very consistent and overhand right on the chin for Aline. Followed it up with the jab. Jab back to the body. Aline knows that he is in control of this one. He is just picking his shots, knowing he can get whatever he wants whenever he wants. Left hook by Aleem. Plania into the body. Quick jab for Aleem. And another just beautiful one-two combination. Plania didn't see Cumpton, thought Aleem was going to the body and then switched it up upstairs. And he did it right again. This time it was partially blocked by Plania. That's the end of round nine. Aleem in cruise control. Last round, baby. Stay smart. Don't go crazy. No, 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 no. I'm going to suck it down. Let me in. Right here, bro. Great fight, guys. Great fight. Final round, the 10th and final round. Aleem, Plania. Aleem has been in cruise control, controlled the pace of this fight, and is dominated more and more as this fight has gone on.
Vanya just missed with an overhand right. Get off his head, get off his head. Vanya dives in. Back to the body is Aleem. A left hook connected by Aleem. As you heard, his trainer, knowing Plania is going to try to empty the clip, said, be ready, be careful. So the desperate man is a dangerous man. Does not want Aleem to overlook this final round, and so far Aleem is not doing that. He has been steady all the way through. Left hook, followed by a straight right from Aleem. Into the body. There's a left hook connected by Aleem again. As the crowd is starting to encourage both men to engage Aleem, again, just staying active. It almost, Aleem is almost fighting like he's down on the cards. He certainly has that chip on his shoulder. He said he wanted to make a statement to all the other 122 pounders in the division, especially the champions. He has been calling for a title shot for quite some time. He has continued to put himself in, and there was a huge left hook that stunned Plania. Another right hand, Plania taking massive damage. Final 15 seconds of the fight. Plania may be going, trying to survive, stop, tying stop, up a lean. Five seconds remain. And it may be too little, too late, but a lean ending with a statement. What a cap on that one. Impressive performance from Raiz the Beast Alim. That final 20 seconds was an explosion. And it just seemed that Plania had nothing left. And he was almost gonna go. And if there was maybe another minute of that round, Ali may have finished the job. But Plania was able to stick it all the way through. But unfortunately for him, coming up short, it's only a matter of time before we see the scorecards, but all signs point to Ali in a dominant victory as we take a look at some of the highlights from this fight. It started off promising for Plania. He was able to land a shot that stunned Aleem. This was the knockdown in round two. And then Plania, there was a shot that stunned Aleem, but that was really the only highlight for Plania. From that point on, it was all Aleem really just taking the fight to Plania, picking him apart, using his left hook and the beautiful body work that just consistently became an issue for Plania as Aleem just broke him down for all 10 rounds. And then we had the final 20 seconds of the fight where it appeared that Aleem would possibly finish Plania. And there was that huge left hook that just snapped the head of Plania back. And Aleem was starting to unload and he knew he wanted the finish. He was going for it. He just did not have enough time in the round in the fight. I'm sure he wanted the knockout, but he will certainly take a win.
as he moves forward in the rankings yet again. And soon, it is gonna be impossible for guys like Stephen Fulton and Ahmad Daliab to avoid Raiz Aline. He continues to impress. And again, Aline is right there on the doorstep. Will this performance finally give him the shot? for a world title opportunity that remains to be seen in the future. But first, need to make it official with Lania and Aline. Lania has a good chin, just didn't have enough in his toolbox to combat Aline. And I think he knows it, his corner knows it. No shame in losing to a guy like Aline. Very talented and very well could be a future champion in this division. And we are now set. I believe we have the scorecards. And it is time to make it official as we take a look at ringside. Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder is in attendance and you know he's going to be keeping a close eye on the main event between Andy Ruiz Jr. and Luis Ortiz. October 15th is when we will see the Bronze Bomber back in the squared circle. As he will lace him up against Robert Hellenius in Barclay Center in Brooklyn, New York. And that is just in a little over a month but I am sure he is trying to get a landscape, get a good view of the landscape of the heavyweight division. That is still to come later tonight. Andy Ruiz Jr. and Luis King Kong Ortiz. Aline and Plania opening things up here. And here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. The judges are in agreement. All three judges scored about 100 to 89. All three in favor of the winner and still undefeated, Raiz, the B.